Welcome everyone. <coughs> Today we'll look at prime factorization and as you can see it's a very critical component of the PEP syllabus. Students will be asked to find the prime factorization of certain any number, right? Composite number basically. Um, before we can begin we have to know we have to differentiate between a composite and a prime. Now a composite number as three three or more factors while prime numbers only as two factors one on itself so even though it's prime factorization we actually be looking at composite numbers so let us start with a very simple one let's say we are asked to find the prime factorization of four no. First thing we ask ourselves, which two number, prime number, we multiply that can give us 4. And that will be 2 times 2. So the prime factorization of 4 would be 2 times 2. Let's go a little bit harder. So we have 6. And that will be 2 times 2. 3. Once it's a prime number, we stop there. Uh, let us look at say 8. We're doing it gradually, guys. So, first, the only two factors would be 2 times 4 because we can consider 1 times 8. So, we consider 2 times 4. So, let us do that. So, it will be 2 times 4. However, this 4 is not a prime number. So, we have to further break down this. So 2 times 2, because 2 times 2 is 4, so we just bring in the other one. So the prime factorization of 8 would be 2 times 2 times 2. So let's look at 10. And that will be 2 times 5. Alright guys, let's just look at some more challenging ones. Let's just look at 12. We can either do 3 by 4 or 2 by 6. It doesn't matter. Look at the 2 by 6. 2 by 6. But 6 is not a prime number. So we have to break down 6. So it's going to be 2 times 3. Hope everyone following. So the prime factorization of 12 would be 2 times 2 times 3. Let us look at a bigger number, 30. And we could do 2 times 15. Guys, it's always, once it's an even number, it's very important. Always try 2 first, right? And then you break it down gradually. Not everyone can multiply because we could have said 5 times 6, right? Or 3 times 10. We would have gotten the same thing. But sometimes it's best we do break it down to the simplest 2 by something. Because everyone can know that 2 times 15 is 30. We need to break down this 15 because 15 is a composite and we can break down that to 3 by 5. Alright, let us look at 30 again. Let's see, I'm just going to prove that it doesn't matter which way you do it, you will always get the same thing. Let's say we add 5 times 6, alright, so it will be 5 times 6. We break down this, this is a prime number, so guys, very important. We break down this to 2 times 3. See? And we can reorder it. 2 times 3 times 5. So it doesn't matter how you order it. You will always get the same for the prime factorization. Let us look at 36. And we could just say 6 by 6. Then we break down 6 so to 2 by 3. So 2, 3, 6. And we'll break down this to 2 by 3. So in reordering to be 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And that will be the prime factorization. Hope everyone following. Um, I'm just gonna leave a few for you guys to do. This is not very challenging. If you know your timetable 
Um, everyone should know their timetable once you are doing pet mats. So guys, it's very important. Let me just leave these and you can leave it in the comment section and you can dialogue about it. Notice um, people not interacting because it's, it's learning. If it was comedy and foolishness, we have a whole lot of people. So we can do 42. 52 and 80. Leave this in the comment section. Alright, guys. Thank everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.